I just got another DM that was basically like, hey, will my 3-2 work for an RAL? And they sent me the listing and I'm like, okay, great. Where do you live? And where they lived, you're allowed to have 12 residents in a home. So I was like, okay, so do you have the ability to add on 10 more bedrooms, 10 more bathrooms? And they were like, no, I just wanted to see if I could squeeze like five people in here and make it work with an administrator and caregivers. And I'm like, how are you? going to afford that with five residents you see sometimes you guys don't understand that the cost of the real estate doesn't matter it's the cost of the opportunity if you could buy a home that actually could fit 12 residents and you're bringing in rates because you're getting private bedrooms private bathrooms for those residents so you're bringing in a lot higher rates you could afford an administrator and two caregivers and you won't have to work in the home full time but the cost of the real estate so expensive okay well do you want a cash flow of five hundred dollars a month or two thousand dollars a month and you have to work in the home 24 7 taking care of the seniors or do you want a cash flow ten thousand dollars a month and you work five hours a week which one do you want if the cost of the real estate is what you're worried about, you need to change your mindset. You shouldn't be using your own money. We show you how to use OPM. So if you're not willing to take those steps that you need to, to raise the capital, to get the appropriate home and license it appropriately for those seniors and have what the seniors actually want, private bedrooms, private bathrooms, quality care, quality food, all of these things, then honestly, you shouldn't be in the game if you're not willing to do what it takes. So you tell me, what do you want?